<clears throat> Hello, traders. I am Stephen Davis, Senior Market Strategist. RJO Futures is Thursday afternoon here, October 22nd. We're going to talk to you about the grain markets in the next couple of minutes. Okay, the first chart of corn here, trending higher. Uh, my 12-year-old nephews could look at these charts I'm going to show you, and they'd say, gee, Uncle Steve, these markets are moving higher. I really believe these, these row crops are in bull markets here. The reason for corn, China keeps buying U.S. corn. I think this is going to continue. The managed funds have a long position of 270,000 contracts, so it's big, and, and uh, so nothing goes straight up, but uh, the bull's out of the barn here, and the beat goes on. Exports are strong, and I think it's going to continue here. So we'll kind of keep talking about this export news. It is dry around the world, and China buying U.S. corn and U.S. soybean are the headlines that are catapulting these markets higher here. Okay, the next chart is soybean. Same chart. Trending higher here. And nothing goes straight up. Even today, look at soybeans. They were unchanged and closed off their highs here of, uh, uh, you know, about 15 cents off the highs. So markets get tired of going up every single day. But when they are down, I think that's a buying opportunity. Soybean harvest about 70% complete here in USA. And, you know, Iowa, they're wrapping up their harvest. they got strong basis in Iowa. So it really feels like the selling is over with here in the, in the short term, U.S. farmer was selling soybean right out of the field for their cash needs and storing corn, looking for higher prices next year. So it's dry in Argentina, and also they had a 24-hour strike in Argentina, and I think that's the key, one of the catalysts here were strong soybean meal prices. Argentina, keep in mind, is the biggest soybean meal shipper in the world today. So Mato Grosso, the big growing soybean area there, Slowest start in planning since 2008. So we need to see this pick up, and it can, and it, it will, but we're behind here, and the market knows that, and the demand just keeps on pushing on here. Uh, the wheat market now, uh, Ukraine wheat prices, 20-month highs here. Russia's wheat crop keeps going up, and it does kind of look like Russia's dry the next 10 days, so they were calling for rains, and these rains in Russia are a bust right here right now, so... We're looking for leadership, and wheat can provide that, and that helps corn go up as well, too. So I think this, uh, the end user and the farmer, the two big users and producers of the grain, the end user had low coverage in these grain markets prior to this rally. So there's on their, they're on their toes, and they're going to buy lower prices, and they're going to buy weakness just like we should. It just feels like the selling is done here in the short term. So demand is really, really good in supply. In, in, in the row crops a lot lower than uh, what anybody talked about 60 days ago. So it kind of seems like uh, uh, higher prices are in store. Let's all have an excellent weekend coming ahead.